So I'm looking for interior paint. And this looks black, but it's blue. This is the H2B car. And shadow blue from color coat right here. This can threw me off because it's gloss. But based off the example and this light, it's pretty damn close, huh? Pretty, do pretty close. This one's a little more blue and this is faded because this is original, 30 year old. But if you look, it's, it's pretty damn close, so. We're gonna get one and then probably just order the other one, yeah? Yep, yeah, so it's 27.58 out the door. Okay, cool, cool. What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I just came back from the paint shop, picking out a color coat can to spray the interior on the H2B CRX. One of the things that's just been bothering me with that car for a very long time is the interior back quarter panel is very faded. When I first installed the interior, I did scrub it down with um, red scotch bright, and I didn't use the heat gun to try to bring the blue back out. It looked good in the meantime, and after sitting over there for a little while, no tint out in the sun, uh, the panels are faded again, and it is like a sore eye because you can see it. Let me show you guys. So as soon as you walk up to the car right here, you can see that fade right there. It's pretty noticeable on both sides of the quarter panel. And uh, I decided, you know what? I wanted to give it a nice coat of fresh blue and uh, make it all nice and uniform. I did spray the interior on the LSV Tech CRX, the green Tahitian CRX that sold recently. And it was like almost a perfect match to the OEM black interior. I took this e-brake cover right here to the paint shop to try to match up with the cans they had on the shelf. And uh, it turns out that this one right here called Shadow Blue from Color Coat is a pretty close match. I took this e-brake cover right here to the shop to see if I could match it up with some of the cans they had on the shelf. and. Uh, uh, based off the book which you guys should have seen the clip at first here uh shadow blue is a pretty close color to uh the blue that's in the hf crx we're not going to be spraying in this video because this can i'm not sure if it's like a perfect match or a close match to the factory blue but i want to do some examples just so we can see where it sits and if i need to order a different color to get something much closer i got words back from jeremy that he's going to be flying in april 27th to have another dino day and from now to the 27th there's a lot of days in between for me to do some other things so today what i want to do is i want to work on the ef sedan a little bit and i want to install the wagon side skirts and muff flaps that we scored from the last junkyard video today i came out here with the intentions of taking all the moldings off the car so we can start doing the body work but i was like you know what let's just fit up the side skirts instead and get them prepped and put away so that way once the car is finalized it just goes right on and less chance of like scratching or tearing up the vinyl so let's grab the side skirts and the muff flaps get the car up in jack stands and start test fitting So these are the 88 to 91 Civic Wagon side skirts and uh, I, have, I have a bunch of these in the backyard but they are for the wagon. I have a set of black ones, a set of painted ones and a spare I think or I might have used a spare. I, I know I have two sets in the backyard but I bought this one right here because obviously I wanted to install it on my sedan and back in the days on my first car, my EF sedan, I had wagon side skirts on it and when I did it on that car 10 years ago plus 10 plus years ago I, I did what i had to do to make it work i literally just chopped it and made it work with the factory sedan from muff flaps and it wasn't the cleanest cut back then i didn't really have a lot of tools like i do now but um this time around i want to make this clean and look oe as possible so the wagon muff flap has this little contour right here where the side skirts actually slip into and uh this actually almost fits the sedan perfectly right so i'm gonna try my best to try to you know get the side skirts to slip underneath right here but once i suck this all in screwing it down it should kind of you know bring it in a little bit but um this this muff flap is kind of warped from being picked up from the forklift and stuff and it is kind of chopped up right there as well too but we will make this work so first things first we need to get the side skirts fitted on because i know for sure it already interferes right here the usdm sedans never came with side skirts so i'm gonna assume this gap right here is not meant to have another i don't know eighth inch of material slipping through here overseas some model ef sedan came with side skirts and they clip onto the rocker right here right my ef2 sedan doesn't have any and i kind of want to find some ef2 side skirts but you know 
it's gonna cost me a pretty penny. I've seen them for sale before. Anyways, so door is gonna be open because we're gonna try to retain this lip right here, right? And if this ends up working out where I don't have to trim it, then I'm gonna try to utilize these holes to secure the side skirt to the car. The rear of the side skirt, we're gonna butt it up against the wheel well so we can have the skirt entirely pushed forward since we are gonna be modifying the front half. It actually feels like it'll slip in without having to cut the lip off. So that's good. I can't get the skirt fully on because it's actually hitting the jack stands. So I do have to trim the front right here to be able to get this side skirt sucked into the uh, chassis more. And I'm going to go ahead and cut it to line it up with this piece here, this little lip. So I'm going to follow it through. Remember to cut little sections at a time and not a big section because you can take away, but you can't add. My choice of weapon, cut off wheel on my Milwaukee grinder. Don't forget your safety my glasses. You guys saw how sharp that razor blade just went to work. I just realized that this front half needs to be cut literally almost to the edge, right? Because if we want this lip to sit all the way in and the side skirt itself to line up with the door itself, this has to be fully cut out in order for the side skirt to suck in. So right now you can see this is not even in the jam yet and we're still hitting here. So I'm gonna go ahead and butt up that all the way forward and then see where uh, the fender line here lands on the uh, skirt and then that's where we'll cut and then we'll probably get it all the way up to the lip here with probably an eighth inch sticking out if you can see the two different color right there the dark i'm gonna probably cut it up to the dark and then even all the way across got my line marked out right there that's where we're gonna cut So I have the sides cut out right here even more, clean it up with my razor blade. I did jack up the back of the car to move this jack stand out of the way so we can put the side skirts on. Got to clip this side into the front jack stands. This little flap right here is hitting on the inside of the fender. So you can see right there how it's butted up and that's preventing me from going back, which you can see right here is about quarter of an inch so it looks like I'm gonna have to trim that off so right now the side skirt is sticking out a little bit because it's not secured into the chassis and uh, my reference is going to be based off the center one right here so once i secure this to the um, door jam it'll suck it up as much as possible to know where the rest of these guys will land so i don't know i'm hoping that it'll butt up like that i mean i might have to trim this right here just so we can get that flush right but very promising very promising and i'm thinking that if i can get this as close to this wall as possible the door will actually sit in this little little um, little curve right here right you see it because right now it's currently sitting on top of it like that before I cut anything else I want to kind of see where the muff flap lands I'm hoping that these holes will line up in the same spots too oh dang Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Okay, so if this pushed in a little bit more, it'll close the gap. Let me see. 
Okay. I see it. I see it. Okay, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. That looks almost factory. I mean, aside from this kick out though. So I took a look right here and uh, there is a little gap right there. This is flushed up against the wheel well. And uh, if I push this up, this thing starts to shift upward and create a gap. So it looks like I'm gonna have to trim back here a little bit. Not much, but if I wanted to sit flush, I gotta trim it. So, hmm, I'm probably gonna guess, I don't know, somewhere right here where it starts to curve. Something like that. This is pretty sturdy. I don't even need to put uh, any screws or tabs on the side. It's already, it's pretty on there. Maybe just a couple on the bottom to secure it from flapping out. But pretty damn good. So I did test fit the mud flap earlier and uh, I might've cut it too much, but I had no other choice because this needed to sit flush in. So because this is trimmed almost to the lip, the mud flap now, that the bottom is uh you know fitted up it has a little gap um so if i line it up right there i have a gap on the top if i line it on the top i have a gap on the bottom so i'm gonna have to figure something out with this i can manipulate this there is a metal piece on the inside here that's preventing me from bending it so if i just cut like a little triangle just to fold this inward it should just close the gap on the top if i align the bottom right so not a real big issue just got to figure out how i'm gonna go about it so i really sat here and tried to figure out where it is that i need to cut the mud flap to get it to bend inward and uh i made the cut just above this hole right here if you're doing the same mod for your sedan with wagon flaps just look at this um mud flap here and where i modified this hole so this right here is going to allow me to bend this top section inward like that right I already test fitted it, so I want to show you guys really quickly before I secure it. And uh, you guys saw me that I put all of the um, tabs onto the side skirt. And all of that has to come back out because we're going to start doing the body work and paint soon. So it needs to be off. But just for uh, installation purposes, it is what it is. I got a whole tub over there if I need to chop these off. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, slip this over and show you guys the gaps after the mod right there. So side skirt, the mud flap, we have this little corner that goes into the fender and then we have this giant gap on the top. So if I just kind of use my knees to hold that into place and I bend the top with that slit that I created, where is that? That little slit right there, that should allow me to close this top section right here. So holding it down, bending it in, you can see. It's bending in and it closes a lot of it. That's probably an eighth inch right there, but um, definitely a lot better as if it was like this, right? 
So I'm gonna go ahead and drill some new holes because uh, the side skirt is actually pushing the muffler up down. So this doesn't actually line up anymore to where the hole is supposed to be, right? We are, I don't know, about half inch off. So I'm gonna have to drill some new holes just so we can use the factory mounting points right here. This one, this one's far off. Sorry, we lost a lot of daylight here, guys, but I uh, just wanna show you the installation of the Civic Wagon side skirts along with the Civic Wagon front mud guards. Uh, I'm actually pretty stoked about this because there's a lot more side skirts opposed to the first time I did it where I trimmed everything off just to make it work. I'm actually pretty happy that the door actually opens and closes without uh, bindage, you know what I mean? So let me show you guys the rear door opens nice and smooth down here we have two of these little push tabs none on the side and uh show you guys the door closing effortlessly bada bing bada boom and then the front one over here open that up no problems we have three tabs one two three and then the fourth one on the side right there and uh closes no problem perfectly i'm just worried about uh it being a super tight gap that when i do wrap the car and the wrap goes underneath here i'm a little worried that it may just like shave it down over time but even then though um it'll probably just be the bottom as long as i get a nice tight uh, vinyl seal between the door and the edge it should be okay and shouldn't distort the way it looks even then if the blue peeled off it's still blue underneath the car so um, or underneath the, the, the vinyl wrap, sorry. But I'm um, pretty stoked about the uh, side skirt installation. The front here, um, we have a little gap, but this mud flap is the one that's kind of messed up. But regardless, not a big deal with this gap. I don't think it bothers me that much, but um, I'm happy. I'm happy with the way it turned out. Had a bright idea of putting the mud flap inside my little vise right here and just clamping it where the gap is at and just heating it up just so that the uh, the rubber would like reform itself you know what i mean you know when you leave something out in the sun for too long it warps i'm hoping to do the same thing with this mud flap <laughs> i'm trying to see if i did something here so i let this cool off for like 15 minutes and i'm gonna test fit it i can't see because the light <laughs> yo look at that all i did was heat it up and clamped it dude <laughs> hey what gap what gap i'm happy about that let's get the passenger side done dude All right guys, so mud flap is on. I did preheat this while I was drilling everything out and this is almost a perfect fit as well too. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Side skirt fully secured. Car's back on the ground and dude, this thing looks, looks factory. <laughs> it really does. I need to fix this fender gap right here. It's a little bit wide on the bottom. And uh, I also noticed that the rocker right here has a dent in it, which kind of pushes this frame right here up. And this plastic is actually more wedged to the door, but it still opens freely. So I'm happy about that. Closes freely, no problems. Same thing for the rear door. Opens no problem, closes no problem. I really can't wait to get this car entirely redone and all the moldings are nice and matching. And this thing is gonna look sharp, dude. I am super happy with this. That is all I wanted to do today, was to install the wagon side skirts and the mud flaps onto the car and make it look as good as it does. I'm not exaggerating either. 
the installation wasn't hard at all it was more so just spending the time to like really assess how you're going to execute the task and once i figured out how we were going to do it uh the passenger side was literally cakewalk so uh, i'm happy that we have the side skirts and the muff flaps on and um like i said everything has to come back out because hopefully in the next day or so we're gonna start taking everything off the car that are removable so we can start doing the body work and get this thing ready for um some wrap aside from the roof and the roof pillar on top of the passenger side door the entire body does not have that much dent so the bodywork stage should actually go by pretty quickly it's just finding all the little dinks and dents that i need to repair repair those and then i totally forgot to buy primer today as mentioned, we have about two weeks before our dyno day, so that means we have plenty of days in between here to do other things with the car. Definitely not trying to waste any days. If you have an EF sedan or an EF or any other make and model vehicle trying to use a different car side skirt, this process applies exactly the same. Just take your time with it, and I'm sure you guys can make it work some way, somehow. Because if there's a will, there's a way. We're going to wrap it up for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy a little progress update on the EF Sedan. If you guys did, be sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you guys want to stick around for the bodywork stage of the EF Sedan, be sure to hit the subscribe button. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.